So, um, it's actually summer right now, believe it or not. And that is hail. Earlier it was snowing. The, uh, the mine we want to explore is, uh, up that way. Um, didn't exactly, uh, plan on this weather. But we'll, uh, tough it out. I think I might leave the, uh, expensive camera in the truck, though. Alright, we're hiking along the creek and came across this site. We knew there was a mine down here, but we didn't know much about what to expect. And, uh, looks pretty extensive, actually. You can see there's a bridge across the creek here. Looks like there's an added over there. Looks like a, uh, tool shed or something here. And then, big tank here. And an it right here. You got a flashlight handy, McBride? Thank you. Whoa. That's a very collapsed it right there. Wow. And I wouldn't want to walk through that muck no, that's anyway. Because that's a full-size barrel when you there. Yeah. That's pretty well said, man. All right, cross that bridge now, and uh, there's a view of that at it. It looks like the door is open, which is good. Something on the left as well, but I'm getting rained on, so I'm gonna go see if I can see anything that's at it. Okay, I'm just inside the portal now, and this looks like a pretty good mine. It uh, goes back. Way it's not flooded terribly. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Plus, I'm out of the rain, which is nice. Good looking timbers in here. Oh, wow. There's uh, something interesting here on the right. That looks like a winds. A flooded winds. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that goes down a ways. Interesting to see that right inside the portal like this. I mean, the uh, the portal is just uh, right there. Huh. Moving on. Oh, wow. That is a mucker. That is really cool. Wow, it is not often that you see something like that inside of a mine. Very cool, very cool. Uh, oh wow, I just looked above me and look at all that quartz. See that quartz right there? And then if you fall, that up, the vein continues there, and there's this whole uh, lattice work of timbers up here. And looks like something did go back there. It's hard to say what's going on here. It's just this jumble of timbers and such above me. Okay, I squeezed by all that. And that's a better view of where I just came from. You can see uh, the other side of the mucker. You can see the ventilation tubing. Um, there's a little cart here in front of me. And then uh, here in front of me is this amazing quartz vein. Just runs all through here. Very, very. We haven't even gotten very far into the mine yet, and there's a ton of cool stuff right in the entrance. Let's see. It uh, goes, keeps going. I see a little bit of debris down, but uh, keeps going as far as I can see. It's 
It's all over the ground too. That's what's crunching underneath my feet. Okay, a little, little mini collapse up here. Yeah, that's an ore chute, not a collapse. An ore chute that dumped a bunch of material down. Okay, here's looking at that ore chute from the other side. You can see it's all collapsed. I mean, the ore chute is collapsed. But, um, interestingly, there's a ladder here leading up. To, uh, oh, man. So, Next to the ore chute, the ore chute is uh, here. Next to the ore chute are these ladders that go up to upper workings up there. Can you guys see how far that goes? That goes way up there. I don't know, that looks pretty rotten. I don't know if I can get up there or not. That looks pretty sketchy. I'll continue with this main haulage at it and uh, maybe see if I can get in there on the way back. Okay, I'm continuing on past that uh, ore chute and ladder to the upper workings. Got something going off to the right here. Looks like a drift. It's a pretty badly caved. Yeah, that's a completely caved drift on this side. Okay, yeah. Not gonna be getting up that one today. Um, that is totally caved all the way. Okay, so this drift is completely caved. Um, check out that course in the ceiling though. Pretty nice. Chuck caught up to me and he's checking out that drift on the right and concurs that it's not doable. No. <laughs> Do you see his cart here? Yeah, that's the, that's the back part. Um, Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, Chuck and I are uh, geeking out on this pillar of quartz in front of us. Because that's literally what it is. You know, you've got the drift going off here. Drift going off there. And that's literally a pillar of quartz. Right there. Got my pipe in the front of us here. Uh oh. What's up? Yeah, it doesn't look so promising up ahead. You know, McBride, I don't think we're going to go much farther. Obviously, that from the second level up there. Yeah. Is, I think. Hard to say. Yeah, this could have all come down from the upper levels. Well, I'm, I'm thinking it dropped because of that false floor there. And it's not timbered on the sides. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So I think it's, this is part of that stove that's collapsed down. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to see if I can get up my stove. Yeah, I'm curious about that myself. Oh. Alright, we're back at this site. And we'd love to get to those upper workings. Yeah, it is. I looked at it too. It does look sketchy, but. Oh, yeah, dude. That's fucking way sketchy. There's no floor on that. That's all rotten, too. Yeah, I know. I think I'm going to pass on that one. You think so? Yeah. Unfortunately. How's that metal ladder? The metal ladder's fine, but it's the wood, it's the wood up there. Yeah. There you get off on it. That's one's better, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll climb up the metal ladder just so we can get a better view and see if there's anything up there. Okay. I just scrambled up the ladder from down there. I'm on the metal one, not the wooden one. And I've come up into this big chamber here. Um, all false floor. And the wood is super rotten. So I'm not going out on that. I'm just going to stop here. But I wanted to show you guys what was back here. Um, you can see it looks like there's a whole other drift level up here that ran off that way. 
but it's now caved. Um, swinging around on this way. You can see it looks like the same thing on this side. Uh, it goes back there, as far as I can see. And then also uh, up above, it's all stoked out as well. And again, you can see these incredible uh, quartz veins back here. I mean, look at that above me. That's just, that's all quartz with that little tiny band of uh, reddish rock in it. But the rest of this is all, all quartz. So, like I said, it's uh, completely caved that way on this side. And you can see the debris that came down here. Um, I, doesn't, I can't tell if it's caved or not farther back there. But again, this is all on a false floor. So even I'm not going to do that on a rotten false floor. As much as it pains me. It's a little mini vein right there. Pretty impressive for uh, us not being able to go in very far. A lot of stuff here. All right, coming out of the attic to the left, you can see uh, actually a big quartz boulder right there. Kind of stuff they're looking for in the mine. But what I was gonna say is you come out to the left, you can see some rails that if we follow them out, they seem to lead off to some more buildings and equipment and such down here. Uh, power boxes and electrical equipment there. Still see the rails here. Run along like this. A little mini trestle next to the creek. Yeah, there are some uh, decent sized buildings back here. It looks like this may have been a mill. Oh, that's cool. See the uh, anvil right there? You don't see that very often. Piles of wood and tin that's come down here. Oh man, this is all, uh, there's a, there was some kind of conveyor system here, but it's all uh, smashed up and damaged now. That's too bad. That has a lock on it, unfortunately. I'd love to know what's inside there. Maybe there'll be a way around in the back. Okay, I'm on the back side of that building now. The, uh, man, the weather today is just awful. You can hear the hail coming down, probably. Man, this sucks. This is awful. Well, I was hoping to see a way into this building, but I'm not seeing anything. Except a lot of hail right now. It's pretty badly smashed up, as you can see. And then this is all uh, sealed off through here. Uh, there's a building here. I see rail coming out of it. Not sure what this is, but I can see rail coming in on that side over there, and uh, there's like some tools and uh, there's an engine right there, and I can't tell what that is from here. Okay, so there's the building we just went around, and I noticed. 
big pile of wood here. And it looks like there might be some stuff up here as well because the road keeps going. So let's hike down here a ways and see if we see anything. Huh. There's a piece of equipment. Part of a conveyor system. See the belt there. The belt with snow on it in the summer. Alright, continuing along. Rising the view of that uh, conveyor system. The top part of it. And then uh, there's a big tank right there. You can see in the brush. Is there anything else? Uh, is there anything else back here? Huh. More equipment hidden back here in the brush. So yeah, it's an air compressor. A large air compressor, I would guess. Pretty cool finding big pieces of equipment like that. Oh, there's something else up here too. Wow. That is a big engine. Sullivan. I'm impressed. And I haven't mentioned the fact that, I mean, there's piles of rocks everywhere. I mean, this whole area's obviously been heavily worked over. You know, there's timbers all around my feet. So there's probably a structure here. I mean, there's obviously a lot here just walking down along the creek I can see more bits of metal track something here I didn't know what this was this might have been part of a tramway or something from the look of it all right so Chuck has just confirmed that this was a mill building here because he found the balls to go to the ball mill. So that's what that is. Too bad we can't get inside, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's just, I just left it. So. Yeah. Man, this, uh, this really sucks. This really sucks. Alright, we're headed out now. There's the, uh, at it again. And I realized I neglected to, uh, check this out got caught up in all the excitement on the right and neglect to the left so oh, just by the way I want to point out the snow on the ground and that's snow from today and it's summer just to reiterate that and it's freezing here um, what have we got here ah, man. Uh, I don't think this was ever an edit, but it looks like, it almost looks like a quartz boulder that they, uh, they fall back for a little ways. You see a vein right there, and there's daylight up there. See, I'm going to take the uh, flashlight away. So, interesting. They just followed a vein for a little ways in this, in this big rock.